Adam read something in the news like, China ranks second lowest in the world for national quality. And even though the UN labeled this as fake news on social media, people still continue to spread the story, which made me wonder whether it accurately reflects the situation. I am conducting a small social experiment where I'm going to set up a table next to the road with some magazines and newspapers and nothing but a QR code for people to pay with. Now, there won't be anyone manning the stall and I am excited to see how many people will either just take something without paying or pay even though no one is watching. Let's see. So that's pretty good, I'd say. I must say, since I've been living here in China, I never feel scared to leave my stuff and go for a walk because I know it will be there. It seems almost like it's part of their heritage. To this day, Chinese people still extol the over 2,000-year-old virtue of honesty. As the Chinese government encourages the spread of the outstanding traditional culture, it's also striving to improve the quality of the national modern culture and the standard of compulsory education while popularizing tertiary education. The average length of schooling of the Chinese population aged six and above has risen from 5.2 years in 1982 to 9.26 years in 2018, increasing by almost 80%. Over the last four decades, China has fostered 270 million talents who have received tertiary education or vocational training. In terms of cultural education, another major task of the Chinese government is to satisfy the growing, diversified cultural needs of the people. Quality public cultural resources need to extend from cities to rural areas, so as to make up for the gap in public cultural services between China and developed countries, and achieve the building of a well-off society in an all-round way, spiritually and in terms of people's livelihood. Right now, we're in a village in Shanxi, Jia Jia Zhuang, a well-known cultural village. I hope to find out today what these people are doing to cultivate their own cultural literacy. And we just arrived at the local library where villagers are free to come and study and read. Let's go inside. Looks like a lot of different categories. We have law, economics, history, education. So this is agricultural planning. It's very useful because there's a lot of farming happening in this area, so it's nice that local people can educate themselves on different farming techniques. I must say, I didn't expect to see such an impressive movie theater in a relatively rural area. Who usually comes here? What kind of people visit the cinema?呃，就日常看电影的人呢，就呃还有周边的一些呃老百姓居多。然后我们节假日呢，有很多的学生，每周日的下午我们都会有一些，还有沙龙的活动。就是我们的这个村民的参与度，对热情还是蛮高的。为
agricultural volunteers in rural areas are supporting the development of cultural activities. Similarly, traditional elements that are widely accepted have been adopted to help popularize culture. Hi,欢迎来到葫芦坊。Nice to So, I finished my drawing. Uh, mine looks a little bit more like a street rat with a few accidental freckles and moles, but the fact that I could produce this tells you what a good teacher I had. So, can I buy this? Cultural inheritance and development not only elevate the people's development, but also create value. The sustainable development of culture depends on promoting the development of cultural industries. One of China's targets of building a well-off society is that the added value of cultural industries must account for 5% of GDP by the end of 2020. Data from China's National Bureau of Statistics in 2018 showed the figure was at 4.3%. Meanwhile, Household consumption for culture, education, and entertainment should have reached 16% across the country, but it only reached 11.2% in 2018. So the two indicators are still short of the targets. Since I can remember, my biggest dream has been to be an actor. So imagine my excitement as I am here today in Qingdao, China. Or shall I say, Oriental Hollywood. This used to be a small fishing village, but today it is a rapidly emerging film and television cultural city. Currently, the Oriental Film and Television Industry Park is home to 40 world-class studios. So come with me, because today, we are going on a movie adventure. So this was part of the set of Pacific Rim 2. So much attention to detail. So it looks like here they're making some props and building some set for movies. We are now literally in the world's largest studio. 10,000 square meters. So what is special about this film park? Uh,像东方女都的这个影视产业园呢,它是目前中国影视基地里边唯一一个能够达到国际标准的一个影视拍摄制作的一个基地。那像我们的园区呢,还有全产业链的一个流程上的一个服务。如果剧组有水系的话
China's performing art market is showing rapid growth. In 2018, art troops staged 3.12 million shows across the country, generating 2.1 billion U.S. dollars in revenue, showing a growth of 131.5% and 137.4% compared with those of 2012. Meanwhile, the number of people engaged in the cultural industries is rising. Cultural industries are also working with sectors in poverty alleviation, tourism, and sport, giving rise to new culture-related business formats. In the meantime, the China's cultural influence is growing overseas. In 2018, China's total export and import of cultural products reached 102.38 billion U.S. dollars, a 15.4% increase compared with that of 2012. China's cultural development enhances not only its people's development, but also its cultural image abroad. The Chinese government is promoting the concept of a community with a shared future for mankind via its culture. China is taking to the world stage an image of a major power with both traditional and modern culture. Would you look at that? It's a traditional Chinese dragon with a modern flair. I personally really like the way of including elements of old culture in these modern trends. Take for instance, including elements of the Peking Opera in modern rock music. And so, people from different eras and different regions end up sharing similarities in the way they express themselves and their culture. Culture is so important to us. If we have greater cultural awareness, we understand ourselves better and where and how we fit into the rest of this great big world.